Hello everybody and welcome to another Path of Titans video. Today we are doing part 3 to Carcharodontosaurus. Um, so, I know I've already done two parts of this, but I'm going to do part 3 because people seem to like this dinosaur a lot. And when I put a poll out for a new dinosaur, or this one, this one won the vote. Not by much though. So, that other dinosaur that was in there, which isn't really a dinosaur, but it was in there, uh, I'll probably do that one next. Anyway, so, I'm playing as my uh, Chonka subspecies, as usual, speed hide. And, yeah, I got a new skin, obviously, because the past two times I used uh, albino and melanistic. This time I've got an actual colourful skin, or, well, colourful-ish. And that's because I just think it looks really nice, especially with, like, the ghostly white eyes. So, at the end of this video, when I'm doing the outro, I'll probably go through the skin, because apparently it's, like, an odd... Uh, combination of colors on a skin but it looks really nice so I'm just gonna do that at the end anyway um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'm sorry if there's any echo in this video I'm trying to fix it man I'm really trying <laughs> but um, anyway right yeah so me and Yoru are back again oh god <laughs> I messed up the word back we're back at it again as Kakarodontosaurus's uh, we're, we're a duo, and yeah, hopefully there'll be uh, plenty of stuff to murder, uh, scare, and just in general terrorize the place. So, I don't know where we're going to go. I don't know where I'm going right now. Um, I think I'm stuck on this mountain. Yeah, I don't want to fall down there. Uh, let's go back this way. <laughs> that would not be a good place to go. Oh. Right. So, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I hope you're all, like, doing okay and everything, because that's good. It's good when the viewers are alright. And, believe it or not, we are extremely close to hitting 300 subscribers. Another milestone that I never thought I'd get. It's another road to 500, which, like, if I ever hit 500, I'm going to be so surprised of how I got there, because... I'm just like really happy with how it's going and people actually enjoying my videos. I mean, there's a lot of people on this planet, I think we're at 8 billion now or something, so, you know, small number, but people are actually enjoying it and they're watching the content and they're leaving positive comments and it just makes my day. Like, I've been happier ever since I started this YouTube thing about 52 days ago. <laughs> Sorry there was no video yesterday, I know I said the... I know I said I would when I got back from my trip, but um, I was wasted. We left my house at 4 in the morning, and we didn't get back until, I think it was, like, 8 in the afternoon. Yeah, uh, I was out all day. It was great, though. Um, I'm probably going to talk about that bit of story time. Because uh, we went to this, like, lake area. They had these massive yachts and everything. Oh, it was great. <coughs> Four hour drive away from my house though, so yeah, uh, did a lot of sleeping and listening to music there. But if you did look at my YouTube shorts recently, you would have seen that I went on my first ever boat ride, ever, and decided to put some music over it. Uh, yeah, that'll be on my YouTube short section of my channel, if you guys ever want to. Anyway, right, um, it was a long walk actually, <laughs> I think we walked like 8 to 10 miles, it was... Uh, Considering I've done nothing recently apart from lay in bed and some stuff around the house, it was a big walk, but it went well, and I enjoyed it quite a lot. Oh, I like this place on the map. This is the first ever place I ever lost a fight as my Argent. I don't play Argent very much anymore, but this is the first place I ever lost a fight. And it was to Gizli who introduced me to Speedkarch. Because before, I, I didn't even know Karch was any good, I thought it was just really bad, because I used the fat ones. But, um, yeah, when he took me here, and we did a 1v1, and he beat my ass. <laughs> uh, sorry for that language. He beat my uh, big, voluptuous butt, and left me for dead, basically. He was like, do you want to live? And I was like, yes, please. I, I was asking for mercy. 
and he gave it to me, and the like seven dinosaurs watching gave it to me as well. So that was nice. That Argent lived, and it only died like I think a month ago for the first time ever since the big dinosaur wipe that happened. Um, so yeah, that Argent's lived quite a long life, but now I don't use it anymore. I regrew it, put it on a hill, and that's it. It just stays there. But anyway, that's enough about Argent, and yeah, that's why that that place that we've just gone to is a bit special. Obviously, before this whole like new map thing about Young Grove and stuff, it was a lot more flat, so we didn't fight in like the cramped spaces that it is now. Uh, we just fought in this really big open space, and uh, yeah, it was it was fun. It was a bit shame the first time I ever lost a fight, but. I'm going to throw in the red card of saying there was lag involved, because sore loser. Anyway, right, <clears throat> so I think the plan for today's video is to head over to Grand Plains and see what kind of mischief we can get into. It's not something normally I would do, because I don't really like to go play kill everything mode, but this is the third part to Car Card on Source, and I'd like to actually show you guys some action apart from that YouTube short I made with it. Because um, it is really fun to just run around as something so big and yet so fast. And it's a bit underwhelming on how much damage it will do, but then you look at your health bar and it is all dark red, it's just full of blood. And it's like, oh god, I'm gonna bleed to death whether I kill this thing or not. So half the time people just give up, which it's pretty nice that. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if there's any, if there's going to be anyone here. We're not going to be here for the whole duration of the video, just parts of it, because I know a lot of people do enjoy just watching big dinosaur fight other things. So um, yeah, that'll be part of this video anyway. And I'll uh, see you guys when we actually find something to go and hunt and kill. Right guys, so we've just walked a little bit further into Grand Plains, and we've come across not some big things, but there are small things. That's a lot of Megalanias. Sorry for the audio there. Um, so that's four, five, six Megalanias and a Cryptops. Um... I don't know if we can fight six Megalanias in a crypt. I mean, they're obviously not grouped because that'd be rule breaking, but. Six Megalanias? I hope they don't start cuddle podding, because if I want to fight one, I'm going to not know which one to fight. Oh god, the audio messed up again. Please stop. Just. Oh my god, it's so hard to keep a wire still. It's fine, I'll just put it under my arm. Oh, it looks like they was doing a little bit of body shredding. <clears throat> That's a rule break, just clean that up, there we go. Nothing to see here. Anyway, um, so as I said before I like started recording this part of the video again, um, I just want to say a massive thank you to all those who are watching. Like, yeah, the subscriber count has gone way high. Like, it's amazing to see the views that I'm getting, those numbers. I like big numbers for views. And when I saw 500 on Acro Kent the Source Part 2, I was like, ooh, that video's done well. Not as good as Part 1, but, you know, I'm still really happy and thankful for it, man. Because, like,. It generally brings like a tear to my eye just seeing this stuff doing so well. They're not the best quality videos, obviously with 720p and the glitchy mic half the time and everything. But I'm working with what I got and yeah, here's the glitchy mic part. I'm working with what I've got and I'm hoping to try and just keep it reasonably... Oh god. I was trying to just say something there. Stop that. I just want to keep it at least watchable and listenable because what would be the point if it was ooh yangs is that one or two yo let's go kill some yangs oh that's an aloe and a yang let's go kill an aloe and a yang right, let's run yeah I don't know what 
this. This is the plot. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Alright, let's see how getting bitten. Oh, he's too slow. Oh, tail attack. Oh, he's left me with the, the four slot. It's fine, Mr. Yang. I'll trot you down. God, this thing is quick. <laughs> me and the Yang, of course. We're both very fast. Oh, I've got to keep stopping for this audio, man. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Right, yours is yours a much faster cart than me. So hopefully he can actually keep up with this thing better than I can. <coughs> right. Come on, Mr. Yang, your time on this planet is up. There we go. Oh god. No! Hill! Hill! Oh, I hate Alderon, man. Ooh, little rocks in the grass. Hills that only some things can climb over. Honestly, Alderon. Anyway. Oh, that Yang's gonna die, man. It's almost dead. Get it, Yoru. Go, you speed catch. Yeah. Yang Chungasaurus down. Right, that was, um... Easy fight, didn't really fight back much. Kinda just took it and fell over. But hey, I'm not complaining. Good, quick, easy kill. Oh man, Apex Dinosaurs are some of my favorite, man. The, the amount of stuff you can do with them. I mean, I can single-handedly take on three Megalanias as a Karch. If they play stupidly, that is. If they play well, obviously not. But if they play really, like, averagely, like if they try and rush me, I can literally kill them and still be above a third of my health. Four would be too many because, yeah, it's a big difference. But three? I could take on three Megalanias. Same as Cryptops, although... That's more irritating because it's got so much knockback and does bone break. But I could I could kill a few of those as a solo catch. I mean, as an acro early, I took on three of them. Oh god, what is that? I took three of them on as a acro earlier, and um, they got me just at half. And apparently, I almost killed. Oh my god, I almost killed one of them, and another one was like it was halfish, I think. Yeah, that was earlier. Uh, let me know if you want to see a Cryptops video. Sorry for this audio, man. Let me know if you want to see a Cryptops video, because I might make one. But, I don't know. Alright, we're going for the Star Act. The speed this car has. <laughs> right. Oh, it's bleeding. What's this little raptor shouting about? It's too small. Right. Come on, Starak. Your time on this planet is also done. Unless you can make a grand getaway. Oh, look at it. It's going. Right. What is it doing? Where's it going? Um, right. Your if I start sprinting and you keep going, just stay on it and can I'll conserve my stamina. When I've got more, I'll catch up and then you can do the same. Oh, it's set up here. Oh, it's sleeping. Oh, it's going back. Right, I'll go back. Do a little cut off. Okay, it didn't go back, it just ran that way. Oh, come on, Mr. Starak. 
You look looking pretty tasty over there. So guys, um, you join me and Yoru as we are on our way to Green Hills because that star it got away. Um, it was a it was a fast little bugger and it managed to jump off a cliff but survive. So not a body deny and it's safe. So when it, we've now decided to go to Green Hills, see if we can hunt there and yeah. Um, I also want to throw out quickly that this is probably going to be the last episode I do on Karkarod onto Source for a long, long time, because I know a lot of people love it, and I love it too. Like, don't get me wrong, this is probably my second favorite Divine Beast mod ever, but it's had a lot of time on my channel, and I don't want to just be repetitive with how much I actually play it. I don't want to be just playing the same Dino, doing the same fights. And I've run out of new stuff to talk about it as well. Like I say, it's already had two videos of its own. And I think one of those did really well. The other one not so much, but one of them definitely did. And yeah, so this will be the last episode for Car Card and Saurus for a long time. Not forever, but just for a long, long time. Because obviously there'll be... Uh, I've got a lot more dinosaurs to make uh, episodes on. Oh god. Oh. I'm not going to say what next video is, but I will say what the video after that will be. It will most likely be Styracosaurus, because a lot of people really like Styrac on the servers. And I can see it, because it's just a good dinosaur in general. For a three slot small Ceratopsian, the amount of bleed it produces is ridiculous. Damage isn't too high, but the bleed balances it out. It's fast, it turns really well, and overall it's just a good dinosaur to enjoy playing. Plus, the Diablo Ceratops... Oh, oh my god, not Diablo Ceratops, that's not in this game. The Albertosaur... Nope. The Alberta Ceratops video, there we go, got there eventually. Alberta Ceratops video did really well. I think that's like at 400 or something, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting that and some other video mixed up. Anyway, um, so that'll be not next video, but the video after. Uh, and then after that, I'll probably put a poll up just to let you guys know if you actually made it this far into the video. Good old 1740 seconds in. 17 minutes, 40 seconds, that is. <clears throat> um, yeah, so. That'll be the end of Car Card on Source on my channel for a short while. There might still be some YouTube shorts and maybe a fight of it every now and then, but apart from that, there'll no be full featured video. Which is why at the end I am going to be going through like a small mod review. So I'll basically go over all of its calls and how you should play it once again since people still haven't got that memo. Um, yeah, I'll just go over it and. That'll be its good send-off, and I'll miss it on the channel, but I'll still play it in-game and everything, so it's not like it will change for me, but you guys might not see it on the channel for a short while. Well, not a short while, a long while. But don't worry. Ooh. Uh, your look to your left. Yeah. It's another Yang. <laughs> Is that a Yang? Yeah, I think that's a Yang. What are you doing, little Yang? Run, boy. <laughs> Karch is on a murder today. Oh, the amount of bleed this thing can stack, though. This guy's probably on, I'd say, death bleed right now. Oops, I bit him. It's not running away, is it? I just want... Let's just follow it. Just follow it and watch it bleed. Might bleed to death. It's always funny to watch things run away and then just flop over. Oh, those trails of blood. That's why you should play Karch, man. It's just so good at, like, putting bleed on stuff. Even with its regular bite. At least on Divine Beast servers, that is, because they do have modified stats. And it's dead. 
Well, Yoru killed it. It didn't kind of fall over on its own, but still a rewarding kill. Yang's body, they don't last the best, but they're pretty edible. Are we synchronized? We are. Look at that for satisfaction. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Nice sound and nice animation. Although I don't know why he's looking to the side. I didn't think you could do that anymore. Anyway, um, that Yang wasn't at all either. Didn't drop a trophy. I th I reckon it was probably three, four bars into Subadol. It looked pretty big. Like for a Yang. Because Yang's not the biggest of four slots. Acro, however, is huge. I think the my Acro that I use... Um, I think that's bigger than Yoru's cart. I'm not sure, but I think so. Oh yeah, another thing for those who watched the Ekro video and you made it this far, and you're watching this one. Um, I changed a little thing onto the build, and it made it so much better. So instead of using the Bleed and Venom hide, uh, it's already got some pretty good resistance. Use the Speed hide for my Ekro build. Um, at least on Divine Beast servers, that is. Oh, also, big news about the servers, actually. Um, so, uh, the only difference between server 1 and server 2 was, keyword was, the stats. So, server 1 had more balanced stats, but server 2 had realistic stats. Uh, that's been changed out because um, server 2 has kind of been losing a bit of population. Now, this people are like, oh, this is from the new impact creator. No, it isn't. It, it just isn't. Um, it's from a mix of a numerous amount of things, such as new game releases like this Starview thing. Um, summer holidays just ended, so people are back at school. And as well as the fact that, you know, people just have lives. Um, but what they're hoping to do is, because Server 1 is always full, pretty much, like if I look now, it's almost full. There was a restart not too long ago. Um... They're thinking that if they have the same stats on server 2, people will want to go join and play that when this one's full, rather than just not play at all. Oh look, there's a tiny moth. Light moths. And it's gone. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the only big change that I can see from now. Uh, for for Dubai and Beast at least. Like, I'm not a news channel or anything, but... I like to keep you guys updated because I make videos for them and, you know, wouldn't be a Divine Beast video if I didn't talk about Divine Beasts. I am playing on server 1 right now, but as I just said, it won't matter for a little while. Uh, I think this is only going to be like a two week trial period to see if it actually does improve. If it doesn't, they'll probably go back to normal, as in they'll have uh, realistic stats on server 2, so things will do more damage, they'll be heavier, slower, have more stamina, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's the only real change that's come out of Divine Beast recently, apart from we did get a, a small update on their Trello actually. Um, they are making their own Spinosaurus, their own Tyrannosaurus Rex, and their own Allosaurus. And if you're wondering, oh, why why are they doing that when they've already got one? Why aren't they focusing on the other mods? Obviously they are. These will be after. Um, but this is mainly because Divine Beast likes to have a lot of control over their mods, which is why eventually they'll only have Divine Beast mods implemented into their server. One, for storage reasons, and two, if, if it's their mod, they can do literally anything they want with it. Because people are like, Oh, Yang is this, and Therizinosaurus is this, and Divine Beast can't help it because it's not their mod. They can all they can do is really change stats, and that's it. But if they allowed um, only their mods, they'd be able to change attacks, uh, stats, uh, animations, sounds, basically anything they want because it'd be theirs. So what they're doing with the Spino is, they'll probably make a small one, because right now Pots is absolutely huge. Allosaurus, again, it's too big in Divine Beast's opinion, so they'll probably make it a bit smaller. And Rex, I'm not sure what they'll do with Rex. All I know is, is that it'll probably be pretty damn good. 
I'm guessing they're going to do smoother animations uh, for trots and stuff, but for walks stiffer. Because if you look at Karcher's, it's pretty smooth for its trot, its run, it, it goes to pretty stiff, and then its walk, that's very stiff, but it looks so dinosaur-y. Like, not, I, when I first saw that, I was like, this is horrible, I don't like it. I just straight up did the walk animation for an hour straight, and I was like, you know what? This is actually pretty good now. I like this. <clears throat> so, we're getting towards the end of the video. That doesn't mean leave. That doesn't mean go away. you got to stay to the rest of it. Otherwise, you are um, uh, you don't get a subway with the right order. Yeah. That's a threat and a half, isn't it? Anyway. Um, yes, I'm going to Green Valley as usual. There hasn't been a... Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm not going to Green Valley as usual. Abyss, look. We can kill that. <laughs> oh, I love fighting big slow stuff as uh, Karch. Oh, it better not just hide in the water though. If it does, we'll just leave it. Just realized my game audio is way too loud, but hopefully I don't talk during the combat too much. Alright, there's one bleed bite, there's two bleed bites. Oh, we're fighting on the side of a cliff. Oh, poor angles. Hold on. No, I got stuck in it, I got stuck in it. Okay, let's, let's kick this pretty strong. Oh, this thing is not happy. Oh! I did not know that does bone break. That's a new change. Okay, I'm probably going to have to make another video on this guy. It doesn't take knockback that well anymore. Oh no. Right, it did its stomp, so that made it take the knockback after its animation. I did not know this thing did bone break. Oh my god, you know that's loud. I'm guessing it. I, I think it's been so long I forgot. I think it did do bone break in the first place, I just didn't remember it. Oh, you're just getting kicked in the face. Okay. Uh, what's up with my attacks? Okay, my attacks have just decided to not do anything. Um, right. Let's see if taking a bit of a fall helps this. Should. What is wrong with my attacks? <laughs> Yoro, I can't bite. Bite me. Like, make me take damage. Bite me. Come on, please, man. Bite, bite me. Just anywhere. Please! I'll get this level two. Come on, bite me. Do it. Nope, I still can't attack. Okay. Uh, what happens if I sit and... I can't sit either. I can't do anything. Right. Um... Yeah, we're gonna have to finish this fight and I'm gonna have to try and fix this. What's wrong with my card? Yoru, can we back out a second, man? Can we go onto this hill so I can quickly log out and log back in and get it fixed? You just keep an eye on it, man. Don't get in combat. I'll be back in a sec, I swear. Oh, I don't even have a combat timer. Can I not do anything? Oh, I'm guessing Yoru's still got one. Right, just stay out. I can't even sit. What is this? <laughs> yeah, I can't sit at all. Am I healing? Right, I'm healing. So, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, when this is fixed. Just give me a sec. Right, guys, so we are back, and I've just respawned. Like, I uh, lo safe logs, logged back in, and we're all good now. <clears throat> so, 
we haven't had any combat with this thing. We did stay out of sight for a little while. I'm not sure if it was exactly a minute, but I'm pretty sure we was way out of combat. So we should just be able to go straight back to fighting this thing. And I want to push it off the cliff. Nope, Yoru's going to push it off the cliff. Fuck that. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Good job I didn't push it off the cliff, that would have been weird. Oh, this thing's looking pretty low. Ow, you're so loud, you Ow, tail attack. Sorry, it's almost dead now. Oh, it's gonna bleed to death. It, it's done for you. Right, now we just sit and wait. We just watch this thing bleed it. Oh, it's full. It's running. Oh, if this thing dies in the water, that's a rule break, man. Seriously? You're gonna body deny. You must have makes it to the other side. If it makes it, that's gonna be irritating. And it's made it to the other side. Okay then, right. Um That's your lucky day Nope, okay. Yoru is one persistent guy. Yoru, it's just, it's just gonna swim back. It, it's just gonna swim back, man. <laughs> Yoru, come back over here, man. Just, we'll just have to leave it. Actually, no, I'm, I'm gonna go to the island. I like this island. I hope there's no Sarko or anything here. I'll just do chat first. Oh, is it? Is it coming? Is it gonna try? Oh! Oh, hell! So, okay. Okay, okay, Jesus Christ, that was intense as hell. Yo, you're almost dead, man. Oh my god. GG's to whoever that was. That was an insane fight, man. I've soloed two of these on my own before, but just having the fact that one of those almost took us both out. Yes, no escape. <laughs> that is... Jesus Christ. It must have been on death bleed and that's why I didn't sit in the water. Well... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pause the video here. I'll see you guys back when I'm somewhere where I wanna be. Rex! That Rex came out of nowhere! They gave me a heart- Yo! We gotta run, man! <laughs> it's gonna kill us both! We don't have the help. Alright, heal up as we walk. We'll get to somewhere and see if we can push it into water. Sorry guys, I was going to meet you back when we were somewhere where we could sit. But this is the same Rex as Acro video. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? He's so persistent. Dude, we should name him One-Eye from that one, that one dinosaur movie. I think it was like Speckles, the Tarbosaurus or something. Or this guy ain't happy, man. Come on, yo. <coughs> right, I'm getting close to full health-ish. So, I won't be able to tank the Rex, but I'll be able to tank it more than Yoru, because he's double speed. Oh, there's another cart here. How wonderful. Well, just leave these guys to do their own thing. Right, Yoru, get up here and, 
No, you're it's a trap. Are we gonna, are we gonna fight this guy? Last fight with the Rex. Stick with that charge. Sorry for the audio there, guys. Oh, I bit its toe. Right. I think that only does 20% damage because it was attacked. Oh, I just bit the tip of its tail. Oh, Yoru is getting it. Tail right at Yoru. Deeper from its damage. Jump, jump. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear what I'm saying over this fight. I just wanted it to be a noisy, entertaining dance. Oh god. Oh god. No, yo, don't die. Run, 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 run. Don't want to face tank a Rex, man. No, you! You! No! No! I shall kill the Rex, man. That just killed you. Oh. oh, that is three bodies down because of that little one over there, but. Jesus Christ. Oh my lord, that Rex. I don't think it is the same one from the last video because that skin's different. But that guy was not happy. Whew. Right, uh. I'll see you <laughs> that stone carried that Rex. I'll see you guys, um. When uh, I'm in my spot that I was going to. Right, before that raptor in interrupted, uh, I'll see you back when I'm at the spot I was going to. So guys, um, you joined me at the end of the Karch video, and I just want to say I've enjoyed making this video. It's been really fun. Had a lot of close calls, actually. And... Yeah, so this is the last time you'll see my karch on this YouTube channel, so I thought I'd just put it on a mountain overlooking the sea, you know, with the tree. It's in the shade, it's set by a rock. And, yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's uh, actually watching this and everything, and it just makes me really happy. So, as a final send-off, I'm going to do a short mod review of my karch right here under this tree in this spot so ignore the health so first of all uh, we have its broadcast nice and loud it stands tall it dominates now we have its heart deep rumble being friendly now we've got its threaten I'll do that again so you can see its tail. So as you can see it does a little tail wiggle, it's almost playful, yet threatening at the same time because it gets down to your level. It leans down, it's threatened, or no it's not it's threatened, this is its help call. Puts its head into the sky, it leans back, it's afraid. 
then we can do its regular call. Oh, well, that's its threat again. Right. Now it's regular call. It's just a nice, smooth, small sound. Now let's have a look at its shake. Puts a bit of effort into that. It's enough to shake stuff. Right. Its smell. I love its smell animation. Looks around. Looks down. It's finding scents. And there it goes back to normal. And I think this is like an emo or like... Uh, I don't know what this is, but I like it. Do a little stomps. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, this one isn't an emote, this is for like changing the eye from slip pupil into regular. And that's that. <laughs> anyway. So, that's its calls and stuff. Uh, we'll have a look at some of its... You've seen all of its animations during this video. Uh, this is my final Karch build. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't know what much to say apart from I've enjoyed Karch so much on this channel. It's it's really been a fun thing. It's one of my favorite Divine Beast mods, and yeah. So anyway, uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you feel like it, turn on notifications, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.